Barter items for SHTF not to include precious metals, firearms, and ammunition, during and or after SHTF, especially if there's a collapse in the economy and or the grid goes down. The currency that you use right now might only be good as toilet paper. That brings us right into our first item for barter, toilet paper. We all saw at the beginning of the pandemic, the masses hoarding these butt napkins. Everyone uses this product all the time and will always need it, therefore making this barter item valuable, and as time goes on and this product becomes more scarce, the more its value goes up, keep this item in plentiful stock for yourself, but also set some aside specifically for barter. Salt and sugar, herbs and spices, these items have been traded since trade routes have been a thing. Things like salt and honey also last forever, making their value a constant. Spices and herbs are always going to have a value so long as they haven't gone bad. People will always want and need these to add flavoring to their food. Coffee and tea, both of these items are in the caffeine category, alongside with addictive substances, as caffeine is considered addictive, for some people, coffee and or tea is the only thing keeping them going, and if there's no supply line of these items, people will run out and would likely pay an arm and a leg to get their morning brew. Of course, keep plenty of this in stock for yourself if you drink coffee and or tea, but set some aside specifically for trade. Alcohol and tobacco, and similar, even if you don't drink and or smoke, others sure as hell do and these vices are highly addictive and addicts will almost certainly do whatever it takes to get their hands on these. It is highly important though when dealing with these products as I said, people will do whatever it takes to get them, so when negotiating trade with these items, you shouldn't allow them to follow you home. If someone suspects that you have an abundance of addictive substances, they very well might be inclined to follow you home and take what you have by force, when dealing with any addictive substances, always try to make sure that you're not alone. Feminine hygiene products, our health should be one of the top priorities, and for the ladies this is especially true, make sure everything is in good and undamaged condition, and of course, if there are any females in your group, keep plenty of these items in good stock set aside for your group only. Diapers and other newborn and toddler related items, when it comes to people pushing out babies, this event will not stop during and after SHTF, people will always have babies coming into this world no matter what's going on, and when it comes to their care, well they'll always need certain items and one major item for them will be diapers, when stocking diapers, you should stock plenty of different sizes as obviously, babies grow, and with that will grow out of sizes. Medical supplies, no matter what's going on in the world around you, you should always have medical supplies such as first aid, and basic pain reliever medications. However in SHTF these can make an excellent barter item as people will always need these things. First aid supplies from bandages to scalpels and stitches and everything in between, first aid will be huge for trade, medications, such as pain relief and fever reduction, antidepressant meds to sleep aid, antibiotics to heartburn meds, Medications, no matter the type are going to be in high demand, and short supply during and after SHTF, so make sure you have plenty for yourself, stored away someplace safe, and make sure you set enough aside for barter and trade, vitamins, minerals and supplements will also be good for trade and barter, as with everything else, keep enough for yourself, and set aside a set amount specifically for trade comes to bartering. Tools might not come to mind but tools would in fact make an excellent barter item. Screwdrivers, hammers, nails and screws, mounting brackets, washers nuts and bolts, these basic tools are lightweight and small enough to be used as barter and everyone at some point during SHTF will likely need these. Fuel. When it comes to fuel, you must realize that certain fuel like gasoline has a use by date, which is usually around a year old, however there are fuel additives and stabilizers which extend the use by date, no matter what kind of fuel you have, even if it's older fuel, it'll still have value, make sure you're storing your fuel in a safe and proper way. Batteries, there's plenty of things that take batteries, from AAA batteries to auto and marine batteries and everything in between, make sure you have batteries as a barter item as people will trade for them. When using batteries for trade and barter, you should trade with lithium batteries if possible.
Candles and or non-electric lanterns, in SHTF, electricity might be limited or non-existent via the grid, or not available whatsoever if there's an EMP, if it's the former, then electricity might be rare via the grid at available via solar and or wind, this would mean that electricity would be in short supply and high demand meaning turning the light switch on might not be the best idea as power might need to be diverted elsewhere, of course you should have plenty of candles and lanterns for yourself, but as for barter, you should stock up on basic tall candles basic lanterns for barter. Cat, and dog food. When preparing for different events, a lot of people often forget about our four-legged friends who also need food, water and shelter to live, just as we do. In SHTF, having cats around would actually be a very smart idea, that is if you're not constantly moving from place to place, cats can keep annoying critters away and help keep the area pest free. Dogs have a wide range of uses as well. Keep pet food for yourself if you have pets, but also as barter as others will likely have some sort of pet who will at some point need to eat.